in the past, and when you think of this team, though, Cotter, it might be his most senior-laden team ever. He's got 19 guys who are getting big-time minutes. And ironically, it will be a freshman, a rarity for Army Lacrosse. Will Coletti, who will take the opening draw with Jacob Fopp, the veteran for the Orange. And we're underway from the Carrier Dome. Big battle for the loose ball in the middle of the field. It's going to be won by Brett Kennedy in Syracuse. 20 to shoot for the Orange in this initial possession of the game. Curry shoots and scores! Get him hot, Cotter. Game one against Holy Cross, he shot the lights out. He was quiet the last two games against Maryland and Virginia, but Curry as a speed dodger and a shooter on the run, that is his calling card. You see Syracuse... Power, power, power. Now here's Nick Turner. Good look by Kilbasa, just misses the target. Nick Turn coming up field. He shoots and scores! This guy is something. And I'll tell you, Cotter, what makes him so good is he doesn't have to beat you clean. Here's the turnover. You want to give a team like Army a second chance when they have a leader like Brendan Nick Turn? That is not a recipe for success. He does not have to blow by a defender to get a shot off because of his lower body strength. When you watch him play, Gunnar Phillip, part of that depth we talk about with Army in the midfield. They're going to run a good seven or eight offensive middies out there today. Back behind the Nick turn. On Kennedy once again, takes the shot and scores again. Too big, too strong, too good. Brendan Nickturn is, for my money, a Tawarton finalist type talent. He's going to blow towards the Army records when it's all said and done. You're at one of the top three guys. He's flashing in that time. Pipes it in. That's Bo Waters. In our conversation with Coach Albarisi Clark, he talked about Waters' range and he showed it there. Physically, Army is dominating the one-on-one -on -one matchups. All three goals have been assisted. Syracuse has to bring some help because Army is not flinching in the Carrier Dome. Up on the Cuse. He fires a shot, but Gavin was there to make the stop. Gavin now in a little bit of trouble. Almost gives it away here. Nickter might get an easy one, and he does. Hat trick for Nick Turn already. That's two goals now. Direct results of blown clears. You can't have that against a team like Army, who's so disciplined and does so well. Ryan Spazito, one of the juniors on this team, getting playing time in that first midfield unit. Inferred it now comes back upfield. Here's Phillip. Ten to shoot for Army. Burek. Shoots with the left and buries it. He's got some range. When we spoke to Coach Albarisi, the thing that popped for Burek was his speed. A bigger guy who's got the long arms and the ability to shoot from the outside. It looks like Bobby Gavin is screened as well. Alexo, he'll shoot, and he'll score. So maybe that's something that Syracuse needs. Get a long pole goal, give him a little juice on that sideline. Tom Alexo taking it to his own hands and saying, all right, offense, you need some juice. Little giddy up. Top corner. 
If they play clean, they will be able to go after Army's defense time and time again. Seabold has a shorty on him. That was a great shot. Two in a row for the Orange. You know, credit Syracuse because I've seen multiple times now their attack have found ways to get a short stick matchup. Dordovic had a short stick on him. Army only has four long sticks out there. They're not prioritizing in terms of the matchups on Syracuse's attack. Here's Dordovic. And Dordovic finds the back of the net. Syracuse has got to get him going. Cotter, he is so two-handed, it's almost impossible to scout in terms of tendencies and what side of the field he wants more. Mark my words, you will see him shoot the ball on the run lefty just like this righty at some point in this game. And Tucker... Mateo Corsi in front, he scores! Gary Gain looking for some depth. Offensive coordinator Pat Marsh. They turn to Corsi and he gets him a goal. I love this. He's just a freshman. There's no window dressing here from 42 and White. It's go to the rack, go hard. The quickness, and Corsi was an attackman in high school from Michigan, played at IMG in Florida. Ethan Barrigan now trying to win some faceoffs for Army. Coach Alvarisi doing all he can to try and win a draw, and it doesn't help. Falk gets it, he's going right to the 10. And he scores! They're going bonkers. And Jacob Fopp has been a huge reason for Cuse coming back. He doesn't win the clamp, but he wins the battle. In the ground ball, the toughness. What a play by Fop! And they are not playing Fop as a shooter. The defensive army presses out on the wings. More concerned with the attack shooting ability from Syracuse. Really get dominant. Give him another one. Don't want to get greedy though here. Alexo tried to get that ground ball. Initially got it, but it goes back to Army. Now they'll look to counter. Donaldson. Will he let it rip? No, he passes off. Now he gets it back and scores! That's a beautiful play by the Black Knights. Deacon Donaldson with uncanny awareness. Watch how he finds the seam. He leads the break here. Most defenders would run off the field, say, my job's done, I passed. He cuts into that soft spot. Syracuse. Right, Cotter? I mean, come on. Get to work on that, Russ. Curry scores. This is the speed of Curry. I mentioned earlier, prior, the fastest guy in the team, a short stick, was defending Curry intentionally. This time, they put the long pole. Joey Stillings on him. He can't match the speed of... Turn looking to pass and does, and Army gets another goal. Kielbasa finished it off. I was just about to say, Cart. Nick Turn had three goals in the first nine minutes of this game, and he's been kind of quiet over the last few minutes. He has. They haven't had the ball because of Fop's domination. But this is what makes Nick Turn so elite, too. You saw him with the three goals in the first quarter. It's the anticipation and the elite vision. And when you've been playing with guys for four years, those are two seniors that trust each other. Kielbasa... <laughs> And that was missed the target, but that got out of his stick in a hurry. Now Seabold. Over the shoulder and scores. They put a long pole on him this time, Cotter. It didn't matter. What you saw in the first quarter, Seabold started getting confidence in terms of his shooting and going to the rack against the short stick. This time, like an unorthodox shot there. Looks like originally he was trying to maybe go behind the back. Feels that top side pressure and just flicks it. And Schupler has no idea 
where this ball's going, right? The release is quirky there. So right here, an army is pressing out. Doug Jones, that could be dangerous. And it was Patrick for Curry. And Syracuse's largest lead of the day, three. When you press out that far, you become susceptible to change of speed. Right there, that little step at X. Curry throws on Jones. That changes everything and it allows. Now can Army strike quickly? They do! Maybe they can get a juice goal out of this long pull. Marker on the field as well. We'll check that. Joey Stillings let it rip. That's Lucas Quinn with an unnecessary roughness call for a minute. Stillings just absolutely hammers this. Watch 26 in white after. A little bit of shove to the back. I don't even know, though, if the momentum of that shot, there was so much leverage involved. He might have fallen on his own, to be honest with you, Connor. He was. I, I think that fall actually started. I, I don't love the half circle within the crease there. So Syracuse with three defenders on the field, and Army makes him pay, as they really had to in that situation, Clark. Three men in the box for Syracuse, and Army down two. Had to take advantage of that situation. Who's the one guy I told you you can't let shoot? It's 90 in black. He absolutely hammers the ball. He leads the country in man-up goals. And he's big, he's strong, and his release, too. It's like a hockey slap shot, right? He, he just... Curry working on Pryor. Cook with a nice move to get open. That extra pass to Buttermore, and here's Dordovic. Curry, again. He's feeling it. And if you're an Army fan, you're saying, why are we short-sticking Brendan Curry? Well, that's intentional. Because Pryor, 13 in black, is the fastest player on the team. So they want to match speed for speed. But what you do when you have a short-stick on a guy like Curry, you lose. You've seen some disrupted shots from 20 in black. Johnson can't get in front. Nick Turner fire from distance. He can score in a variety of different ways, Cart. No disruption on that rip. By the nation's leader in assists, but today in the dome, Brendan Nick Turn for the Black Knights has been a shooter and a scorer, and we have an unbelievable... Dordovic will look to dodge on Lehman. Tough angle for Seabold, but he scores. He's scoring from every angle today, Cart. He is, and Tucker Dordovic, who's been a midi his whole life, he's so comfortable operating up top. Even though he's been playing behind and playing attack this season. With a full head of steam, I'm sure. Head, head coach. Reese and offensive coordinator Justin Ward would like to see some time taken off the clock, but when you get a shot like that from Andrew Kelly, I think they'll take it. This is a nice speed dodge by Kelly. Gets Rosa to kind of bite behind the cage like he's going towards X, and then just flies out of that dodge to get a... But Army's done a really nice job in terms of putting their sticks up in the passing lane when they're in zone, making it hard for Syracuse. Now Dordovic. That's what you had in mind, Clark. Cook right on the doorstep. You know, you played man most of the game, so when you get into zone, you're always protecting the inside. So where's the soft spot? 
It's the diagonal pass. It's not an easy pass to make. But if you can thread it like Dordovic did to Cook right there, you're going to have time to set your feet. Minder, Harrison Thompson, you're not going to let that fly past a guy like Schuchler, who's been a season goalie, a three-year starter. He's staring that ball down off of no ball movement. Abshire scores! Looked like he was trying to get it to Reese Burek, and the ball just bounced with some English on a cart. It ends up behind Harrison Thompson. There's Abshire. Throws the, the pass. That's just unlucky for Syracuse. Pass. Now just five seconds, man up. Nice save by Thompson. The rebound comes out, and Army ties it up. It was Kielbasa, right man, right place, right time with the rebound, and he beats Thompson. Senior leader understands his team, Coach Alvarez, he said, as well as anyone, will understand the luxury of having a rebound come your way, and Danny Kielbasa can let it fly. Schuchler there once again. Turnover, though. Ball in the carpet, it might be. Big hit. Cook leveled the man, but Army comes out of there with it, and it's Lehman. Yeah, there's a player down. We're going to blow the whistle here. Around the 35-yard line. That's Joey Stillings. Stillings has been tough for Army in transition. You saw a goal earlier on. Looked like he got him a little bit from the rear. And you heard the arm. They're comfortable. They have their quarterback running the show. Nick turns losing his footing. Tried to get it to Buick, but it's picked off by Murph. Donnie can't handle the pass, though. Abshire with a full head of steam. He'll shoot and score! You make the stop on Nick Turn. You're physical, and Kennedy has stepped up, but then once again, a blown clear. If Syracuse loses this game, there's four or five moments where they just handed it right back to Army. Phillip trying to use a pick. Swim dodge. Has nowhere to go with it. Burek. Over to Abshire. Abshire scores again! Bobby Abshire was quiet in the first half. They needed him to step up and deliver some punches. He did it on his prior goal with the right hand from the outside, this time sweeping lefty. Out of Abshire. It's under his defender, he'll score! A flag on the play, and it's good, the goal is good. The question was whether he landed in the goal mouth or not. He clearly landed in the crease, which is legal if you dive away from the goal mouth, and he was pushing the back part. Yeah, he landed in the crease. The ref calls him in the crease, but maybe a push on the defense. Doesn't fall in the goal mouth. Bobby Abshire has been absolutely brilliant. What a play. What awareness in terms of where the goal mouth is. He's been the game changer in the second half, and if you watched him in the Dome a year ago, he had a couple of ridiculous plays in that blowout. Like, Bobby Abshire arrived on a national stage a year ago when the Black Knights beat up Syracuse. Tonight, he's showing you that same type of trait of, of wanting the ball in critical spots. Late in the shot clock, he makes not just a play, but a ridiculous play. And Coletti makes a play by getting possession. He'll shoot and score!
Wow. A team littered with seniors. The toughest guy on the field today might be Coletti, the freshman face-off guy. Not all face-offs are created equally. Schupler makes one final save. Let's it fly, and the folks that made the trip from the Hudson Valley rejoice. Army, their first back-to-back -back wins versus Syracuse in 72-73. And it's a big out-of-conference win for the Black Knights.